COVID 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 <laughs> Where is old Cesar? Where is old Cesar? There you are There you are How are you today? How are you today? Very well Fine, thank you Hey friends, this is Oti Cesar, and today we're gonna talk about COVID-19. You might be in an area under community quarantine, so you might be wondering why you have to stay at home the whole week. You can't go to school, the playground, or the therapy clinic. You might be missing your friends, your teachers, or your therapists. You're also seeing mommy and daddy staying at home instead of going to work. They keep asking you not to touch anything outside the house. You always have to wear a mask. And you have to wash your hands a lot of times. Under community quarantine, people are not allowed to go outside their houses. No people in the playgrounds, in the swimming pools, or the streets. It's basically a ghost town. All of these changes might have made you feel uneasy. So let's try to use self-awareness to get a sense of what's going on. We're feeling confused because we don't know what's happening. And we're feeling scared because we don't know what to do next or how to solve this. But just hear me out because even adults like me get scared if I don't understand something. And it makes me feel very stressed too. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna see and understand COVID-19 and then we'll try to think about things we can do in this situation. So that at the end of this video, we'll think more rationally. Hmm, that means we're gonna focus more on solutions rather than our negative emotions and we'll also feel more calm. We'll start with the problem. The problem is COVID-19. Let's be curious together and find out what it is. The name of the disease is Coronavirus Disease 2019 or COVID-19. The name of the virus that causes the disease is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2 or SARS-CoV-2. It's called coronavirus because it has pointed structures around its body that makes it look like a crown or a corona. It first appeared in Wuhan, China, but it doesn't mean that all Chinese have it. If you're asking what a virus is, a virus is a germ that's very tiny, it's invisible. You'll need a special microscope to see it. The coronavirus will try to go inside your body because it needs a host to live. Once inside, it makes you very sick as your body will try to fight it. I'm sure you know of the big bad wolf and the three little pigs. Remember the story where the first little pig built a house of straw, the second little pig built a house of sticks, and the third little pig built a house of bricks. In this story, the coronavirus is like the big bad wolf, except it isn't big. It's so tiny and scary, so it can't huff or puff or blow their houses down, but it's going to try and go inside their bodies to make the little pig sick. Yikes! Now we know the problem is coronavirus or the tiny scary wolf. Coronavirus is a respiratory virus, and when you hear respiratory, it means parts of our body that we use for breathing. That's what coronavirus wants to attack. That's why it goes through your eyes, nose, and mouth, and finds its way down to your lungs. That's why people with COVID-19 have cuffs, colds, and a sore throat. 
you will then have a fever as your body tries to attack it. And later on, you'll have a hard time breathing as it gets to your lungs. Be careful! COVID-19, again, lives in hosts, and it wants to live in as many hosts as it can. It gets spread by the droplets that comes out of our mouth and nose when we sneeze and cough. That's why it's best if we cover our mouth and nose when we sneeze by using a tissue or by covering them with a flexed elbow. Oh no! Now let's check on the three little pigs. Everyone was asked to stay inside their houses to protect themselves from the tiny scary wolf. But the tiny scary wolf was very sneaky. It stays in places with a lot of people so it can spread faster. One day, the first little pig went outside to the market. It didn't know somebody cuffed and sneezed on the produce. He touched the vegetables and fruits without knowing that the tiny scary wolf was already there in his hands. He came close to the other pigs in the market and he kept eating without washing his hands. The first little pig went home. Uh-oh! Now he has a fever, coughs, and colds. The tiny scary wolf made the first little pig sick. The second little pig visited the first little pig. Knock knock. Come in, second little pig. Oh no, first little pig, you're sick. And now you have a hard time breathing. Let's call an ambulance so that you can go to the hospital. Let's think of solutions for the first little pig. Now we know his body has to fight the virus. When someone is sick with a coronavirus, they should wear a mask so they don't pass the virus on to other people, sneeze into tissue or a flexed elbow, stay at home and try to call a hospital that can accommodate them. Now let's go back to the second little pig. He's starting to feel really worried. He got exposed to the first little pig who went to the market. Right now, he doesn't have a fever. He doesn't have coughs or colds, and he can breathe properly. Hmm, going to the doctor isn't a good solution right now. There's too many sick people who need the doctor's and nurse's help more. Remember this, it might take 2 to 14 days for the virus to start making you sick. This is called an incubation period. There's still a chance you could pass the virus if we're not sure you have it. So let's think of solutions for the second little pig. He can stop touching his face, eyes, nose, or mouth. He can do frequent hand washing. The best way is with soap and water. But if you don't have them with you, you can also use hand sanitizer. He can also put himself on quarantine. That means you don't visit or go close to other people. Here's a chance for us to practice empathy. Quarantine may sound scary because it means that we won't see a lot of people for a long time, but we should be even more scared and sad if we spread the virus to other people. Some say that coronavirus has the worst effects on older people and those with weak immune systems. We have to help protect them. That's why if we stay in quarantine, we're actually helping other people, not just ourselves. Now the third little pig wanted to visit the second little pig. Knock knock, can I come in? Oh no third little pig. We can't see each other yet. I might be exposed from the tiny scary wolf, so I have to stay on quarantine. My, my, I'll see you next time then. Maybe we can talk through the phone. 
Now the third little pig didn't go to the market and didn't get exposed. What should he do? Hmm, let's think of solutions for the third little pig. You might have heard that children are not as affected as older people and doesn't show severe symptoms when they get the virus. But it doesn't mean we should be complacent. We should still do our best to remain healthy and strong. How do we do that? We can start by eating healthy food, drinking lots of water, exercising indoors, getting loads of sleep, and drinking our vitamins. These are the ways to help our body get healthy. Now that we understand coronavirus better, we don't have to be so confused anymore. And now that we have better solutions, we don't have to be scared. We can put on our resilience hat and be rational and calm until the government and the World Health Organization tells us that it's safe to go back to our usual lives. We can have achievement worldwide once the tiny scary wolf or the coronavirus gets completely eradicated and doctors and scientists find a vaccine against it. We just need to do our part and help save the world against coronavirus. Yay! OT Cesar knows that childhood routines all over the world are affected by the virus and the quarantines. You might also encounter other situations when going outside is not an option. Let us protect childhood from COVID-19. It is my duty as a global pediatric occupational therapist to help your family maintain healthy routines and engage in occupational activities of play and education, even when you have to stay indoors and despite your busy work from home schedules. You can head over to growthwithotcesar.com and download your copy of 10 Ways to Keep Them Growing Indoors. You can also follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can see more of each other. You can also upload photos of your child playing indoors and tag at otcesargrowth on Instagram with the hashtag keep them growing indoors. Growing with you, OT Cesar. Bum, 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 bum,